Well, welcome to my discussion on piecewise functions. And um, this is the kind of function where it literally is in pieces, where one piece, the first piece, is x plus 1 in my example. And it's defined for the domain negative 3 to 0, not including 0 itself. And uh, the other part, the other piece of the piecewise function is x squared defined on its subdomain 0 to 2, including both endpoints. So we can make a table of values where we plot negative 3 and we get negative 2. And that's because negative 3 is part of the domain of the first piece. It's up on the d domain where uh, you see negative 3 uh, less than or equal to x less than 0. So we put it into the formula x plus 1. In fact, all of the numbers I'm using here, negative 2, negative 1, and negative a half, are all defined on that same part of the domain where we're all, uh, where it all gets plugged in to the formula x plus 1. And uh, then we have x squared. Well, if I plug in 0, 0 is now part of the domain of x squared, if you look at the inequalities that is defined under. And if you plug in x squared, uh, 0 into x squared, you get 0. If you plug in 1, you get 1. And if you plug in 2, well, 2 squared is 4. And notice that this is as far as we can go. Our function does not allow for values less than minus 3 or greater than plus 2. Notice that the first four values we included in our table apply only to the first piece of the function, x plus 1. And the last three, including 0, apply to the second piece, x squared. And uh, that's the idea of a piecewise function. And notice the curly brace uh, in, uh, indicates that the x plus 1 and the x squared are both part of the definition of f of x. So whenever you plot uh, points on a graph and make up your table of values, you always have to pay careful attention to the domain, especially when plotting and especially when doing your table of values. Otherwise, um, you're going to end up with points that are uh, not, uh, not the correct ones. So you always have to pay close attention to that. You're going to expect there to be uh, breaks in the function, um, and so uh, and, and there may well not be any breaks, but you're probably going to expect them. So uh, let's just plot the points that we just described in our table, and uh, on on this Cartesian graph. Now, at x equals zero, the first piece is not def the first piece. Uh, seems to approach uh, the point 0, 1, but uh, remember the first piece of the function does not include it. Uh, f of 0 is only defined for the second piece, which I'm drawing, which is only one half of a parabola. The other is a line. And that's the complete function. As you can see here, I just basically connected the, the dots as well as I could, recognizing that the first piece was a line and the second piece was part of a parabola concave up. And this peculiar ending of one piece at the point 0, 1 and the other point beginning at 0, 0 is known as a jump discontinuity. And jump discontinuities in piecewise functions are worth exploring because this is part of the idea of continuity and they're most commonly seen in piecewise functions. So the two domains join at x equals zero. But while the domain is defined everywhere between minus three and plus two, there still seems to be a break in the graph that, and that break is where the pieces join. It is worthwhile to explore this break using limits approaching zero from both right and left. From the left, we shall use a number just less than zero. Let's try negative 0.001, and we get 0.999, because we need to apply negative 0.001, that value of x, to the first piece, x plus one. So we, let's take the limit at that critical part of the graph where x equals zero, because that seems to be where the break occurs. So as we approach uh, 0 from the right and take its limit, we get a number that's almost 1, about 0.999. As for the second part, if we approach 0 from the, from the right, 
uh, we have to apply the function x squared because we're in the domain 0 to 2 and that domain includes 0 and so we end up squaring 0 0.001 now 0 0.001 is 10 to the minus 3 we end up with a number 10 to the minus 6 well you can see that that's almost 0 and clearly a number that's almost 1 is not really equal to a number that's almost 0 so we say that they're not equal the left side does not equal the right side and uh, that violates one of the one of Cauchy's rules for continuity that the left side should equal the right side and it does not and so f of 0 how about f of 0 well f of 0 if we plug it in we have to apply the part that 0 is part of the domain of and that's the second part second piece of the function and so we have to plug in 0 into x squared and so then um, we we just write down 0 squared which is just 0 and notice that's more equal to the right side than it is to the left side um, clearly um, this is evidence all three pieces but certainly the first piece of evidence first two pieces of evidence that the left side and the right side are different numbers indicate a jump discontinuity and uh, is really really prime evidence of that going back to the graph let's just go back to the graph for a minute so the jump discontinuity as you can see approaching from the left you can see that the graph goes to the point zero one and going from the right the graph goes from the point zero zero and there, there's a clear break in the graph and uh, you can see this also defined on a graphing calculator